Anne Marin. Right. Yeah, yeah. Anne Marin. I got you on that. Senator, you have the floor. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair uh, and uh, committee and uh, committee members. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to the chair and to committee staff uh, for all of their work on this bill. We are grateful for your partnership, and we will uh, accept the amendments as proposed. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, SMART uh, is a voter-approved passenger rail and bicycle pedestrian pathway project that is going to be located in two counties both the beautiful county of Marin and Sonoma. Starting in 2016, it's going to serve Did a... Just say the beautiful county of Marin and Sonoma. You mean the beautiful <laughs> county of Marin and the beautiful county Well, of Sonoma, we work right? so closely together, we're okay. combined. I just want to clarify that. <laughs> it's like a mini state of Jefferson. All right, all right. All right there you go. It's good go times. Uh, <laughs> just trying to help. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, starting in 2016, uh, SMART is going to serve a 70-mile corridor from Larkspur to Cloverdale. The initi initial operating system will stretch from San Rafael to the Sonoma County Airport, with Larkspur coming on board shortly thereafter, which will connect the Sonoma County Airport to the Larkspur Ferry Terminal. It is anticipated that SMART will be transporting 1 million people a year through the North Bay Area. Providing a safe and secure environment should be the top priority uh, of the Board of Directors, which it is and why they are here today. To do this, SMART is going to need a sworn police chief to handle sensitive information involving the train's operations, passenger safety, facility safety, uh, among other uh, very important items that are going to be in front of them. SB 626 would enable SMART's Board of Directors to establish a sworn chief of police position but not a police department. A sworn chief of police will enable the collection of vital information while giving SMART the freedom to assess and address their security needs once operational in 2016. With a sworn police chief uh, and contracting out of security and police services with local law enforcement agencies, SMART will be able to reduce costs as a public transit agency while receiving all the benefits of a sworn police chief. Uh, now, it is anticipated that the savings for taxpayers in the first years alone will be significant by having one sworn police chief, no police officers, but contracting with neighboring law enforcement agencies. So, for example, the Marin County Sheriff's Office or the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office. With one chief, SMART can gain the right to know what information they need to know along their line, providing a safer and more responsive route catered to the needs of the riding public. The SMART Board of Directors, Sonoma County Sheriff Steve Freitas, Marine County Sheriff Robert Doyle, Nevada Police Chief James Berg, along with the San Rafael Police Chief, the Central Marine Police Authority Chief, all support this legislation and do believe it's going to fulfill the security needs for both Sonoma and Marine County residents. Uh, I'm honored that here today is Supervisor Judy Arnold. She is a true legend uh, in the North Bay Area uh, and worked for Mr. Burton, so she may swear a little bit today. Uh, she is uh, chair of the Sonoma Marin Area Rail Transit Board of Directors. We also have uh, Jennifer Welsh, who is the security manager for SMART, uh, along with Barbara Parr, who is also a board member for SMART. And Mr. Chair, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Uh, uh, just for clarification, you're, you're accepting the committee amendments, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, Absolutely. thank you. Uh, you have the floor. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Welcome. And well, thank you. Uh, I'm Judy Arnold. Marin County Supervisor and Chair of SMART. Um, SMART is sponsoring SB 626 in order to allow the district to appoint a sworn police chief. And this is going to allow the district to directly communicate with law, en law enforcement agencies within SMART service area and enable the district to provide the appropriate level of public safety service for SMART's riders. And I did all that without swearing. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. Other witnesses? Other witnesses, please, in favor? Uh, yes, good afternoon. I'm Director Barbara Parr, and I'm a director on the Golden Gate Bridge Board, and I'm also a director on the SMART Board, and I currently serve as Vice Chair of SMART. Um, I've been on it a long time, and this is a great day to actually have our train going. Um, I'll repeat a couple things that uh, Senator McGuire said, and that is that we are hoping, or we are connecting Larkspur, for those of you that are Southern California, Larkspur is right across from San Francisco Bay, 
we're uh, connecting the ferry terminal there with the Sonoma County Airport, which is big. It's a mass transportation multimodal um, corridor. And SB 626 will allow us to make decisions on a timely manner, in a timely manner, in the event that there's an, uh, an issue, we call those, um, along the right of way. And it also empowers us as the board of directors to determine the correct level of public safety. Public safety is big for us. And um, it will allow us to appoint a sworn police chief. And I'd like to express my appreciation to um, Senator McGuire for carrying the bill. And I urge the committee's support of 626. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Other supporters. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Welch. I'm the security manager for SMART. And I'm here to answer any technical questions. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair members. Gus Corey here on behalf of the Transportation Authority of Marin, also in support. Thank you very much. Are there other witnesses in support? And I do not see any other uh, witnesses uh, on this bill, witnesses opposing this bill. I see none. Questions? We have a motion. Uh, Senator, would you like to close? Just want to say thank you so much, Mr. Chair, again, for all of your work uh, to you. the committee staff and would be honored to have your support and do want to say thank you to the SMART Board uh, for all of their amazing work. Mr. Chair, the first thank train you. arrived last week into Katati, so uh, it was okay. a heck of a milestone. Uh, I, I just want to say congratulations and I'm so pleased after so many years of hard work that you're making this project come into fruition and uh, having served on the Metropolitan Transportation uh -huh. Commission, uh, I hope that uh, the next uh, steps will be successful also to expand and um, um, make the system uh, work correctly and uh, your philosophy has been very good and thank you for work, your hard work. I just thank want you, to congratulate you. will be successful, right, Judy? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll call the, the vote, please. We have a motion. The motion is due pass as amended and refer to the Committee on Public Safety. Senators Bell? Aye. Bell, I Canella. Aye. Canella, I Allen. Aye. Allen, I Bates. Aye. Bates, I Gaines. Gaines, I Galgiani. Aye. Galgiani, I Leva. Leva, I McGuire. Aye. McGuire, I Mendoza. Aye. Mendoza, I Roth. Aye. Roth, I Wykowski. Wykowski, I. Thank you very much. The bill is out, 11-0. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you very much. much. Next up, Senator Jim Bell. File item four, SB 431. Thank you, uh, Chair and members. Um, this bill is uh, SB 431, and uh, I would like to accept the committee amendments. It's a companion piece to yeah. Senator Hernandez's bill, I'd like to first point out. Um, this, we would accept the committee amendments on page three, comment three of the analysis. The amendments uh, further accomplish the intent of the bill, making it possible to for two trucks utilizing driver-assisted truck platooning, or DATP is a new acronym you all have to learn, um, to travel closely together. This bill is intended to enable the monitor demonstration and ultimate deployment of driver-assisted truck platooning systems. Uh, D DAP, or, or DATP, is an extension of an adopted cruise control and automated braking and active safety technologies uh, already commercialized and adopted by U.S. trucking fleets. The technology synchronizes acceleration and braking between two vehicles while leaving each vehicle's steering control and systems command and, uh, and control of the driver. Um, uh, DATP significantly increases traffic safety and provides fuel savings for both platooning trucks and thus achieving reductions in tailpipe emissions, greenhouse gas, and criteria of pollutants. Unfortunately, portions of the state vehicle code, some of which have been on the books for decades, uh, currently prevent the testing and deployment of um, DATP technology on California's highways. So this bill would update the vehicle code uh, to enable the monitor demonstration uh, an ultimate deployment of driver-assisted truck platooning. I would like to let the community know that my office and the sponsors have been actually working with the High Patrol. It goes without saying that the full, their full involvement, support of this endeavor is a key to successful deployment uh, of the ATP on the state highways. I respectfully ask for I vote, and I, I have witnesses here. Thank you. 
Um, Jared Ficker, um, on behalf of Peloton Technology, um, Chairman and members of the committee, and Senator Bell, thank you for le your leadership on this. I wanted to make just a few points and echo um, some of the points made by Senator Bell. Um, first and foremost, these uh, um, this authorizes only two truck platooning. Um, and it, the active safety systems are key components of driver-assisted truck platooning systems. Um, they'll increase the safety of trucks on the road, both, with pl both while they're platooned and also when they're not platooned. So um, these safety systems are on vehicles and will improve um, safety systems on trucks even when they're not platooned on the road. Um, second, um, uh, when platooned, trucks platoon, uh, uh, will achieve uh, uh, fuel efficiency savings of up to 10%. Um, and this uh, immediately helps meet aggressive petroleum reduction goals on our transportation sector. Um, the bill authorizes only level one automation and this technology is ready to deploy today um, to make roads safer and increase fuel efficiency. Finally, as was said, um, we continue to work with CHP and Caltrans to further refine the bill. Um, we're also working, and you'll hear from UPS, on deploying um, this technology in their fleet in California. Um, thank you, and, and ask for your support for the bill. Thank you. Thank you. Next witness. Yes, hi, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee, Steve Boyd with Peloton Technology. Uh, we're a Mountain View, California-based company, and uh, appreciate the leadership by the, by the chairman uh, on this legislation. Uh, currently, uh, these technologies are already uh, uh, developing and in use in, in Europe, uh, and uh, there's actually a, a matter really at hand of uh, U.S. leadership in this in this area. Uh, as, as Jared mentioned, uh, these systems improve the individual safety of trucks by utilizing the state-of-the-art collision mitigation and other active safety systems, which are on each individual truck at all times active. Then on appropriate multi-lane divided highways, our cloud-based monitoring system will approve linking of trucks under appropriate conditions, traffic, weather, driver hours of service, and other, other, other such things. These systems uh, are entirely focused on safety, and we are excited to be working you know, closely with, with CHP and Caltrans in the evaluation of this and, and deployment of it in California. The, the other states, other states across the U.S. are looking at this as well. Uh, uh, Utah has already passed and uh, signed a bill uh, uh, allowing for these systems uh, for piloting and then deployment. Uh, similar, similar legislation is underway also in Florida and in Michigan and Texas. Uh, pilots are planned without legislation currently. Uh, I can answer, answer further questions if the committee has some, but I want to turn it over to uh, my colleague from UPS. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, it's all about safety. Safety first. That's what UPS believes, and it has to be. The tragic story we heard earlier today about somebody dying that shouldn't have died, um, we take it very seriously. We're working arm-in-arm arm with the California Highway Patrol on this to assure that they have their blessing on this. But think about it. Every car that you, you get now, if somebody stops in front of you, your car stops. There's seconds that come into play here. And when you're platooning, that front truck puts on its brakes. It's automatically putting on the brakes in the back. We still have the driver a part of it, but that second can change. That could be a two seconds. If somebody's thinking or looking somewhere else, this assures safety on the road. We're excited to be a part of it. We're excited to be a part of Peloton, um, and it's something new, not just in safety, but reducing our carbon footprint and sustainability for the state of California. So UPS is strongly in support. All right, thank you. Thank you. Any other witnesses in support? Any witnesses in opposition? Seeing none, bring it back to the committee for any questions. I already have a motion. No questions. Uh, yes, Tom. Got a lot of backseat uh, chair people here. Uh, <laughs> Senator Bell, would you like to close? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not backseating anybody. No, no, um, not you. <laughs> let's platoon this, and uh, I ask for an eyebrow. Okay. All right. And Secretary Paul roll. The motion is do pass as amended. Senators Bell? Aye. Bell, I Canella. Aye. Canella, I Allen. Bates? Aye. Bates, I Gaines. Aye. Gaines, I Galgiani. Leva? McGuire? Aye. McGuire, I Mendoza. Aye. Mendoza, I Roth. Aye. Roth, I Wykowski. Aye. Wykowski, I. We have eight votes, enough to get it out, but we'll leave it on call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Chairman, you. members, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um.
we can uh, do the consent calendar. Uh, the consent calendar consists of item 13, SCR 30 by Senator Hill, um, uh, creating the Frederick E. Terman Memorial Highway. And if we can have a motion on the consent calendar, please. Yeah, we are. We just. Yeah, okay. um, we have a motion. Can we call the roll, please? On the consent calendar, Senators Bell. Aye. Bell, I. Canella. Aye. Canella, I. Allen. Bates. Aye. Bates, I. Gaines. Gail Johnny. Leva. McGuire. Aye. McGuire, I. Mendoza. Aye. Mendoza, I. Roth. Aye. Roth, I. Wykowski. Aye. Wykowski, I. So we've got yeah. six. Okay, we have uh, seven votes. Uh, we'll place that item on call for other members that are absent to vote. Um, Senator De Leon, you have the floor. Senator De Leon is here to present um, item 12, SB 767. Senator, you have the floor. Yes, 